Welcome to Six Figs. I'm Kyle, and in today's video, we're going to be talking all about Nervous Network CKB and something called quantum resistant locks. I think you're going to hear this term more and more, uh, especially over the years, as quantum computer threats continue to emerge. Chains like Bitcoin are going to be left struggling uh, if they do not react now or soon to quantum computer threats in the future. And we're going to talk a little bit about all this stuff and really figure out how Nervos Network is solving these issues. And really, the elephant in the room, quantum computers. Guys, these aren't like your average laptops. You see, quantum computers use qubits, which can exist in multiple states simultaneously. And this is all thanks to something called quantum mechanics principles, like superposition and entanglement. This gives quantum computers insane computational power, which basically allows them to solve problems that would take average computers millions of years to do, but in seconds. This all sounds cool, but there is a tremendous double-edged sword, especially aimed at blockchain. You see, most blockchains, like Bitcoin, rely on cryptographic algorithms like ECDSA, which is the Elliptic Curve Digital Signature Algorithm. And this is to secure private keys in all the transactions. There are threats like Shor's algorithm, which is basically a quantum algorithm that can crack ECDSA by efficiently solving the discrete logarithm problem. And if quantum computers keep scaling up over the next five to 10 years, it could absolutely impact all of us in crypto and our wallets will be more vulnerable than ever. And this is where Nervos Network steps in. And trust me, it's almost like they're playing 10D chess while all the other chains are kind of trying to figure out how to even play checkers. Nervos is a layer one blockchain, which is designed with modularity and flexibility really at its core. So it uses something called its common knowledge base or CKB, which is a unique cell model for data storage. And I spoke about this in the past. It's like a super organized filing cabinet, but for blockchain transactions. And unlike traditional blockchains where every transaction follows rigid rules, CKB's cell model allows developers to create custom scripts. And this is very important important because it's like programmable locks. This is tailored to specific needs without requiring a complete overhaul of the protocol. That's right. No forks needed. I mean, this is huge. You can just deploy this stuff. So this is insane flexibility, which is ultimately powered by the CKB virtual machine. And this matters because it means Nervos can evolve on the fly with emerging threats like quantum computing. This is absolutely one of the most valuable things like to me in the world, especially with quantum computer threats uh, getting higher and higher every single day. This allows the devs to plug in new cryptographic algorithms if they need to, which will allow the network to stay secure. And really, they can do this at will. So it can really tackle no matter what the future throws at it. Right now, there's something called Sphinx Plus, and this isn't just some fancy buzzword. It's a quantum resistant lock, and it's NIST approved. And really, at the end of the day, it's a quantum resistant signature algorithm, which is designed to withstand attacks from even the most powerful quantum computers. And unlike ECDSA, which rely on the difficulty of the elliptical curve problems, Sphinx Plus uses hash-based cryptography, which is basically a method that's mathematically proven to be secure against quantum attacks like Shor's algorithm. So you can think of this as a super secure vault with an unpickable lock. In 2025, Nervos made waves by integrating Sphinx Plus into the CKB ecosystem. This allows quantum safe wallets to be a thing. Hybrid signature schemes that combine ECDSA with Sphinx Plus for an extra layer of security. This hybrid approach is absolutely genius because it lets users transition to quantum safe tech while maintaining compatibility with existing systems. So whether you're holding CKB or just building apps, your assets are shielded against these quantum threats. And really, at the end of the day, this move puts Nervos miles ahead of other layer one blockchains that are still kind of scrambling to address the quantum vulnerabilities because chances are they're going to need to fork their chains or completely overhaul them. 
You see, Nervos also focuses on interoperability, meaning it can connect with other blockchains, including Bitcoin. And this is where Nervos Network shines, and it's carving out a nice niche as a layer two scaling solution for Bitcoin. So imagine faster, cheaper Bitcoin transactions with that same security as a layer one. And Nervos has made that a reality. And at this point, I would expect additional post-quantum algorithms to be integrated as they come up. And this will eventually ensure that CKB stays ahead of that curve. And I do think that Nervos is kind of doubling down on its role as that Bitcoin scaling solution with projects like RGB++, which allows Bitcoin smart contracts tremendous capabilities. Also check out Nervos Nation, which is the central hub for the CKB community. If you want to talk quantum resistance stuff, this is the place to do it. It's a place to connect with like-minded enthusiasts, stay updated on the latest developments, and even contribute to the ecosystem. So whether you're a developer, investor, or just crypto curious, feel free to check it out. I'll drop a link in the description in the pinned comment. So that's a wrap for our deep dive into Nervos Network CKB and the quantum resistant locks. I do think guys with quantum computers on the horizon, projects like Nervos are absolutely leading the charge to keep our crypto safe and secure as well as the chain. Let me know your thoughts and comments below and I'd love to see what your viewpoints are on Nervos Network and this amazing technology. We'll see you guys on the next video.